Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is Fisher's Love Let's Encrypt. If you haven't heard of Let's Encrypt, it's an organization that's out to promote secure or HTTPS web traffic by offering free HTTPS certificates. One of the things web admins have to do in order to have an encrypted site is to have an official certificate authority assigned HTTPS certificate. And it usually costs money, but Let's Encrypt lets anyone easily get these certificates for free free, which is both good and bad. I mean, the good part is obviously promoting secure web traffic. However, many people expected uh, bad guys or cyber criminals to also leverage Let's Encrypt for malicious activity as well. In fact, one of my older 2016 security predictions was to expect more HTTPS encrypted malvertising. And one of the things that makes this possible is these free Let's Encrypt certificates. Now back to today's story. A researcher at the SSL store released a blog post talking about how Let's Encrypt is issuing many, many certificates with the name PayPal in the domain, which are primarily used by phishing sites. In any case, in the past few days, the same researcher has created a new blog post saying that those old estimates were conservative and now based on a transparent certificate information from Let's Encrypt, he now knows that Let's Encrypt has issued over 15,000 certificates that have PayPal in the domain name. In either case, the fact that they have PayPal in the domain makes it easier for fishers to lure unsuspecting users into maybe sharing their credentials on a site they shouldn't. Anyways, I'm not sure what we should do about this as an industry, but just thought it was an interesting issue. On one hand, I kind of get Let's Encrypt's argument, which is they want to make certificates easy, and I can get why they shouldn't moderate them. They expect people like uh, security companies to detect all these phishing sites, or even maybe Google Safe Search. On the other hand, maybe they shouldn't make it so simple to get certificates that are obviously being used in fraud. What do you think about this issue? Should Let's Encrypt uh, give out these certificates so easily? In in either case, here are some practical tips. The first is you should expect criminals to be using secure web traffic more often for their nefarious activity, whether it be malware distribution or command and control channels. And frankly, the fact that Let's Encrypt makes it so easy to get certificates is actually lowering the bar a bit for these criminals. And that's why you should make sure you have security products that can at least temporarily decrypt HTTPS traffic so that you can run things like IPS and anti-malware scans on that traffic. For instance, as something watch Fireboxes can do. The second thing is the good old fashioned make sure your users pay attention to the domains they go to. If you see a domain that has PayPal in it, make sure it literally is PayPal.com spelled properly. A very, very common trick is just for these attackers to have PayPal anywhere in the domain name, even if the root domain is something slightly different. So be on the lookout for these sort of fake domains. Anyway, I just thought it was interesting to see how much cyber criminals really are using Let's Encrypt for their phishing campaigns. Be sure to check out uh, Vincent Lynch's post on this issue. It was fantastic and full of a lot of detail. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.